Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today we're looking at the last of the fossil trio, Aerodactyl. I guess we'll just acknowledge it for the sake of it being in previous episodes. Um, Nightmare, do I really care about it as a nickname? Not really, it's kind of just something you would expect to find. So it's like, I don't have a problem with it, but I don't really think it's great either. Dinosaur, get it? Cause it's a dinosaur. I don't really care about that one either, but if you like terrible jokes, there you go. Thank you for teaching me what Pazuzu meant. I didn't know that, so I learned something new today too. Do I really care about it? Honestly, no, because I just found that Pazuzu thing really irritating. So I just kind of don't really like the name as a result. I'm not a Daft Punk fan, but I'm going to acknowledge this just for the sake of saying that if you want to name your Pokemon after bands, I do think it is a decent enough idea. So if there's some sort of band that you think fits Aerodactyl better, go with it and then not only do that, but tell us so we know what it is too. Just out of curiosity sake. I think Bird Brain might be a better one for something like Pidgeot, honestly. Because, again, that's kind of like fish face, where it's like, it's a thing, it's an expression, it's what people say, but maybe stray towards something more resembling an actual bird than a giant rock dinosaur that flies. Just my thought process, but, like, it's... It's a meh, okay nickname. Worth at least acknowledging. Atre used another band, but I remember it was also some sort of, like, Native American thingy. Because we, we saw Atre U in the past, but... Just bringing that up, and that's about it. And another band! Apparently bands are common things for Aerodactyl, and now it's making me wonder why I didn't do that. Okay, so I gotta be honest. I was... I remember watching Land Before Our Time as a kid, but I don't really care much about it, and I wanna say I don't remember it being all that great to begin with. But the, the name we will acknowledge, and also just because I read it as Terry, like Terry the Pterodactyl, that's gonna come to mind, Banjo-Tooie. I do, excuse me, think that this spelling is better because it feels a little bit more obvious opposed to just naming something Terry. So I like this for being different enough to where you could point it out and be like, oh, I know what that is, assuming you do know what that is. because. All of Land Before Time has basically been purged from my mind because it's been over 20 years since I've laid eyes on anything relevant towards it. So Ridley is one that I actually use as well just because I remember recently looking through, like right before I decided to start doing this series, I was like looking through stuff and when I finished Kanto I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna start doing videos. Um, so I recognize Ridley, I'm okay with it, but it still doesn't quite hold that huge significance to me. Like, it's weird. I'm a huge Metroid junkie, and I love it, but, like, I don't know. It just, it feels like it's okay at best, and, like, I want something more definitive for Aerodactyl. Like, I I really like the idea of Ridley if you're doing a Metroid-based team. If you wanted to do something like that, I think Aerodactyl as Ridley is absolutely perfect. But I think just in general, it's just one I'm not particularly crazy about. I don't mind it. I don't think it's bad. It's just it doesn't have that huge, oh, I'm absolutely in love with this nickname kind of feeling to it. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Aerosmith. That's the fourth band we've seen. <laughs> I'm a little curious about this. I guess someone at least got the banjo Tui thing. Okay. I gotta go over it, because it's just kind of like the thing we do here. The thing I want to acknowledge most is just Relica, because it's like, you had relics on your last one, and you're like, well, if we just, you know, the A button is next to the S button on the keyboard, but if we just type that instead? Or maybe it was a typo, and he actually meant to put relics again. I don't know. That one I thought was dumb. Jawsome I've seen a couple times, so I don't really care. You get it, it's a dumb joke. Anyone like for alligator is a perfect one for that. Yeah, nothing on here really interests me. Rip Jaws is like half. It's, it's like that thing where again, you're just trying to sound really cool by like, I named my fucking Machamp Crusher Skull or something like that. And it's just, it just sounds dumb as a result. There's nothing really on here that's worth acknowledging. Just saying, I don't actually hate Marty McFly. Not really much to say about it. 
but I don't hate that. And I'm also surprised that like I was able to look at this thread and the first two responses and I'm not mad. I'm still not mad. Dinosaur. Like, was there a time when his fans weren't ravaging idiots? And maybe he was once a normal person? Rock bottom, you could throw as a, uh, firstly you gotta spell it right. But you could throw that on as a generic rock type nickname. I don't really care, but it's at least just throwing it out there for the sake of it and that's it. Big Bird is also a really stupid name that I don't necessarily hate, just because I think the idea of like sending out, like let's say Pidgeot and it said go Big Bird. I feel like most people that see the name Big Bird are going to assume Sesame Street before they are going to think an adjective and a noun. So I think you could get away with that. Dry Bones is good actually, and I mean I know we did this one for Alolan Marowak. But I think you could also probably get away from it for maybe fossilized Pokemon. I don't know. For whatever reason, I feel like that kind of fits Aerodactyl. Never mind, he was, still had stupid fans back then, too. Okay, so it started out, like, halfway decent, and then it kind of took a downward spiral. And I did go out of my way to click on this one. So I did that, just because it's like, hey, I know this, and they're not always shit. So I figured I'd at least give them a click anyway, even though they technically weren't on the first page. So, spreadsheet, there's uh, not really anything here that I feel is worth talking about, so I'm just gonna kinda ignore that then. And nothing really stuck out. I don't know why, but I got Meteor written down here, so I'm just gonna say Meteor and then move on, because I don't know why I did. I guess I saw it somewhere else and thought it was okay, but I don't really think it's okay now, so whatever. Uh, Ridley is the one I personally use just because I don't think there's anything good. Um, I've also remember seeing Wingman, and this I saw a while ago, like a few years ago, and I was like, oh, I like that because that's a thing that people say in the real world. You're my Wingman, you know, like that's, that's clever. But I don't like it enough to really use it for Aerodactyl. Like, I like the idea of the nickname, but I don't think it's good enough. So I like that, and that's about it. But other words, there's not really anything stand outish enough. Ridley is a good idea, it's just I'm not in love with it, and that's what I want, is I want to be in love with the nickname. And majority of what we sent, found was just Land Before Time stuff, and Land Before Time was drawn 2D, so it's not that... There was some really disgusting looking CG animated dinosaur thing that's like fucking creepy from the 90s. I don't remember what that was, but that legit nightmare fuel, old CG is disgusting. Um, that was the, what I was thinking of, and I was like, I hate that. But no, Land Before Time was like hand-drawn, so that wasn't Nightmare Fuel. That was just some show that I don't remember, because it wasn't memorable to me. Um, yeah, that's it. It was mostly just Land Before Time and Ridley, and Ridley was mostly just in one thread, and that was about it. So it, not too much. It's, it's there. If you got a good idea, a decent idea, a different idea, we also saw four bands. Don't know why that is, but yeah, lots of bands, too. Uh, provide your ideas and suggestions in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good. Let's keep the discussion going. I'd like to find what I'm in love with, but I guess until that day comes, we're just going to stick with Ridley as second best whenever a first best shows up.